Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. My prayer is that the Holy Spirit will work in our mind for what I said to be understood. Today I will use the numbers to help us understand the subject of justification. Do we have someone here don't like mathematics or numbers? Sorry. But everything in our life is full of numbers. Since you are born until you die, everything is by numbers. And our salvation could be by numbers also. What scientists create mathematics? Who create mathematics? God created mathematics. In divine mathematics, you, f you will find harmony, balance, and intelligence. How to see the creation of mathematics in the Bible? Open our Bible in Genesis chapter 1. The verse, verse 5, you found the first, first day. In the verse 8, you found the second. second day. In the verse 13, you found third day. Third day. Oh. In the verse 19, you found fourth day. Verse 23, fifth day. In 21, sixth day. In the chapter 2, verse 2, what day there? Seven. Seven. It's the beginning of the world. The beginning are the numbers. Everything is now is repetition. The stamp and superscription of God is upon it all. All things around this world is have a subscription of God. What is the subscription of God? You see these numbers? How you seen this anywhere? Have you seen these numbers anywhere? Yeah. Not in this sequence. But how this numbers is formed? What's the reason this number? Are you adding it up? If you choose one number Number three is composed by the first one plus the second. Three plus five is equal eight. Twenty-one plus thirty-four is equal fifty-five. It's infinite. Okay? If you divide any number for the previous one, you will find 1.6181. Any numbers you divide, you have the same answer. These numbers, it's known for Fibonacci sequence, or golden ratio, or golden numbers. Many mathematicians study this sequence. You see the list before born of Christ until near <coughs> our days, the many mathematicians study this sequence. And Leonardo da Vinci, he drew a famous drawing using the golden ratio. This picture there is drawing for Leonardo da Vinci. It's Vitruvian man. He used the golden ratio. It's a perfect man there. The same numbers I showed before. Now, it's the same sequence of numbers graphically ordered, has this form. Now it's easy to see this number, right? It's more easy to understand than before. When you see, or where you see these numbers? Now it's easy. You see this form in the ear? 
you see the solar system, here we came, in the plants, in the eggs, in the wave of, in sea of waves. This graphically, it's the same numbers, it's there. Another part, it's very interesting, our body. Look at your arm. Look at your arm. From the elbow to the fingerprint, the golden ratio is in your first. You divide this measurement for 1.681, you find the division right here. Your full high, the golden ratio is your navel. <laughs> From your navel to the head, the golden ratio is your neck. If your face, the golden ratio is your eyes. You find the perfect body, it's you following the golden ratio. The golden ratio you found in the proportion, it's no arc. The same proportion is there, 1.6. You notice this proportion in the arc of covenant, 1.6, it's there. You notice this proportion in the bronze altar. Do you see the signature of God? God himself gave these numbers, these measures to Noah and Moses. God gave the strict details and he gave this. It's not man made, it's for God. It's from God. Studying the numbers in the Bible, we found the following relationship. You see, three, it means divine perfection. Number five, grace, salvation, and redemption. Seven, spiritual perfection. Number 10, ordinal, ordinal perfection. Number 12, governant perfection. I will show the justification with the number Five. Maybe can you talk, talk about the number 10, 7, 10, and 12 in the future? I don't know. <laughs> Next time. Here I have some evidences for divinity. Number three is divinity. How many languages was Jesus just identified in, on the cross? Three linguas, Greek, Roman, and Hebrew. How many is attributes of divinity? Three. Three. Omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence. Our salvation is divided on how many parts? Three steps. Justification, sanctification, and glorification. glorification. Our shepherd is knowing for how many names? Three names. Good shepherd, great shepherd, and high shepherd. You see these Bible verses there? You can confirm. Our herd sanctuary is dividing how many parts? Three parts. Courtyard, holy place, and most holy place. And more interesting is the first three commandments. The first one, no other gods before me. It's exclusivity. Second commandment, not make any grieving image. It's originality. And the third one, not take the name on God in vain. It's about property. property. More evidence. The testimony of grace in earth by spirit, 
water and blood. Our time is dividing in how many time? numbers? Three. Three. The past, present, and the future. The matter, it's composed by, what you find by solid, liquid, and gas. The smallest part of the matter, it's iron, is protons, neutrons, and electrons. Everything is divided by three. The man is divided in how many parts? The spirit, soul, and body. And the more important, the divine testimony concerning Jesus from heaven in baptism, transfiguration, and glorification. Have three words from heaven. Three times. Remember, three is divine. Three is divine perfection. Five, salvation. Salvation, redemption. Seven, spiritual perfection. Ten, ordinal perfection. And twelve, government perfection. About number five. It's grace. What is grace? We have had the privilege of hearing many times about justification here in our church. But what is justification? Is to return man to the, his original position without sin. Pardon it. Pardon. We need to be justified. Who needs to be justified? Everyone. Oh. We have other synonyms for justification. Synonyms of justification. You see the list? Justification, or grace is means justification, pardon, deliverance, unmerited gift, promise, and wisdom. Every, every word is synonymous of justification. About deliverance, we study in our Sabbath by lesson about deliverance. What means deliverance? To be free. To be free. You see David and Goliath from deliverance, the people of Israel, from the animals, en animals? Enemies. enemies. How many stones he took from the river? Five. Okay? Don't, don't forget these numbers. <laughs> About the prophecy. For the dream of Nebuchadnezzar, who is the fifth kingdom? <laughs> King of grace. Who is the king of grace? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Now is represented by the stone. Promise. Have on Leviticus 26, verse 8. Have an interesting verse. Volunteer can hit for, me, for us. Five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. Your enemy shall fall by the sword before you. Why there is five of you? Why not one or two or ten? It's five there. What means the number hundred and ten thousand? This number is multiples of five. Multiples of five. Wisdom. What is better? I speak only five words in English or 10,000 in Portuguese? <laughs> it's, it's easy to understand. It's five words, it's enough to understand, right? <laughs> About mediation. How many times Abraham intercedes with God for the inhabitants of Sodom? Six times. Time. Number six, it belongs for the men. The means of the men. 
But you see the numbers there? 50, 45, 40, 30, 20, 10. All is multiples of 5. We'll talk about five. Now, how many men Jesus began his minister of grace here in the earth? How many? Which the calling of John, Andrew, and Simon, Philip, and Nathaniel begin the foundation of the Christian church. How many men? Five, five men. Yeah. Is enough to preach the gospel. How many loaves Christ used Christ use to the, feed the people? 5,000 people. Five loaves. It's necessary only for the bread. Who is the bread of life? I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and the who believes in me shall never thirst. Now, Come to the main point our preaching this morning. The earthly sanctuary. It's yet important truths concerning the heavenly sanctuary and the great work that carried <coughs> for the man's redemption were taught by the earth sanctuary and his service. The man's redemption. All you need to understand the justification, it's preached by the sanctuary. sanctuary. This is a panoramic view of the sanctuary. Remember, these measures given in detail by whom? By God. By God. How many times do you notice the number five here in this picture? this information, or multiples of five. You see the measurements of the temple, it's multiple of five. Measurements of the courtyard, it's multiple of five. And the boards, is multiples of five house. Here is the most important <coughs> place for the sinner because it was the place where he confessed his guilt. Where the sinner confessed his guilt. Before the altar. Before the altar, Before the, the sinner altar. confessed his guilt and received pardon. What is the measurement for the altar? <coughs> five cubits of length, five cubits width, and three cubits of High. Five is grace. Three is divinity. And the golden ratio is given by God. Okay? <coughs> After the sinner entered the door, before this altar, he confessed his sin and received the pardon. Now, look for this how many tools the priest used to make a service? How many tools? Five different, Five different tools. How, how many priests work in this service? Five? Five priests. This is the name for these priests. And each Priest have his garments. How many pieces is composed his garments? Five. Five pieces. How many offerings the sinner offer to the God? Five types of kinds. kinds. Burned offering, peace offering, sin offering, trespass offering, and grain offering. It's five. You see five any places in the sanctuary. One more detail about the holy anointing oil. It's composed for five ingredients. ingredients. It, uh, the quantity is multiples of 
five. 500 shekels, 250, everything is divided by five. What's the means for oil? The Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit to understand. And the sacred incense is composed for how many ingre ingredients? Five. And could not be imitated. Why? Because of representing Christ's merit. Yes. What it means for incense? Our prayers. Our prayers. If some one make a, a, a imitate for this, whoever makes a in like it, to smell it, he shall be cut for off from the his people. God not allow imitate for his prayers or his intercession. In the time of Israel, all people need to ransom his soul. What's the price for the ransom? Half a half a shekel. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than the half a shekel. The ransom of is offered to the rich and the poor for the same price. For the rich and the poor is the same price. In the sanctuary, I have gates and doors. For the sinner to confess his sin, he should enter through the first door. Here, we see the measurement of the door. 20 cubits, cubits width for five cubits high. It's number of grace. The second door, door of the tabernacle. What's the measurement of this door? It's multiple of five. In the veil, the third door has the same measurements. Now you see the three doors. Three door is, what's the means? Divinity. Divinity. Each door have the same area. Our measurements are multiple of five. It means grace. Three line, linen with three colors. It means divinity. Thus, while there was the only gate, one door, one veil, they each typify Christ is the only door of entrance for all the blessing connected with salvation. Forgiveness, justification, is granted to the sinner by confessing his sin within the door. Only through Christ it's possible to receive pardon. Then Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the chief. Sheep. All who ever come before me are thieves and robbers, but the chief, sheep did not hear them. I am the door. <coughs> if anyone enters by me, he will be saved, and will go in out and find pasture. John 10, verse 7 to 9. We see this quotation in our sub Bible lessons some time ago. <coughs> If pride and selfishness were laid aside, how many minutes? Five. Five minutes would remove most difficulties. It's interesting. How many time need to solve any problem? Five minutes. It's enough to solve this problem. Forgiving and being forgiven, this should be our first goal. Matthew 6, verse 12. And forgive us our debts. He has forgive our debtors. Look your hands. Look your hands. Five. How many fingers do you have? Five. Five. If you offer or ask forgive for someone, 
the people sent more five fingers to you, right? Five is grace. It's a pardon. To give and to receive. Five means? What means for five? Grace. My wish that they, everyone should experience the power of forgiveness. Amen. Amen. Amen.